dream confirmation of Beatrice R. About four days ago, the Lord in a dream also showed me the asteroid. I had read and heard various testimonies. Back then, I didn't think much of them. But after the dream that I had, it was revealed to me. I was as floating in the air, looking down at a town or village, not big, with so many buildings. Then suddenly, a light illuminated the city. It was night, but it seemed day. I did not look to the sky. Then the city darkened. Then it was as if a strong light, as a fire, came down, and I realized in the dream that while more approached, that while it approached, the light grew larger and brighter. It was like a flare of powerful and large fire that fell at high speed, and while it approached even more, it emitted a deafening, horrible noise, an unbearable noise. And I knew that it would not fall right there where I was, but that it would fall further away. But it was terrible what it felt like. When suddenly a tremendous roar, as of many atomic bombs, and everything was illuminated, I woke up and stayed with that, thinking and meditating for a long time. And the Lord said to me, If my people would humble themselves... I will hear from heaven. I think that if the Lord has not brought this on yet, it is because He still hopes for our repentance. May this testimony be of help. God bless you. Note from the page managers. For a long time, the Lord has been confirming this judgment, as well as His soon return to countless servants, watchmen, children, people of all ages, even to non-believers and of many nationalities. Many of them had already received revelations, dreams, and visions before Ephraim Rodriguez or other prophets started to speak of this judgment. It is not possible that everyone has just come up with the same story. It is a judgment prior to the judgments described in the book of Revelation to prepare and cleanse the church for a pre-tribulation rapture. This judgment is not wormwood, and it is not part of the Great Tribulation. This is what the original asteroid prophecy confirmed to countless souls declared. Even now, many of you who now hear this message have received dreams, revelations, and confirmations. You know it, and yet many of you have remained silent out of fear of the opinion of your pastor, congregation, family, spouse, friends, or because you prefer to think that it was all your imagination. Read Ezekiel 33 and sound the alarm. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Return to his arms. Alert and warn others. There is no hope for this outside of Jesus Christ. Don't trust that you will go in the rapture and that you will not see any judgment simply because you say, Lord, Lord. Many times in the Bible, God warned His people before His judgment, so they would repent and be prepared. God is love, but He is also a consuming fire against sin and evil. Humble yourself before Him and ask Him if this warning does indeed come from Him. We stand nothing to gain materially from this, brethren. This is for your own good, for your soul and that of your loved ones. Any future dates given in social media for this year 2016 or for the following years as the date for the fall of the asteroid do not come from this ministry. Please check all the links in the description box below the video, including an apology and explanation for the 2014 time frame date fail for the fall of the asteroid. If you wish to receive the prophetic documents related to this prophecy and its original message, list of supplies, prayers, flyers so you can print and distribute, instructions on how to anoint your home, biblical precedents of divine protection, and much more, please write to asteroidprophecy at gmail.com to request them. We will send them to you via email so you can print them out, photocopy, and distribute them. May God keep you. We love you in Christ and prepare, brethren, 
first spiritually by clinging only and putting all your faith in Jesus Christ only and then materially by stocking up on supplies, canned goods, food, medications, etc. Ask the Holy Spirit for confirmation and guidance through all of this. We love you in Christ. Amen.